Recent data showing inflation cooling has sparked hope for investors that the Fed is finished with its rate hike cycle. As a result, mortgage rates, of course, have fallen three weeks in a row, but they are still elevated. The 30-year fix sits just below 7.5%. So is it really time to buy a home or should you keep renting? Danny Romero is here to help us answer that question. Maybe you should speak directly to Josh. <laughs> no, Did I'm you? off. No. I'm, I'm forget it. No. Right okay, now. sorry. Well, I, there are a lot of people asking this question right now. Well, hint, hint. It's still cheaper to rent. Mm. Asking rents is above $2,000. That's what Zillow reported. But if we compare that to the median monthly payment, that came in at $2,670 in the last four weeks in November with a 75 mortgage rate. But we have to consider when buying a home, you need a down payment. And Realtor.com says that the median down payment was about $30,000 and the average down payment was 14.7% of the sales price in the third quarter. That is a high. So that means a lot of people are forking up money for their down payment. The other thing to you know highlight is that both markets are noticeably expensive. The rental market and also the market to buy a home. Rates also play a really big role. And like you mentioned, the 30-year fixed mortgage rate did come down from its highs in October, but it's still well over 7%. Buying a home is still very expensive. The median sales price is above 3000 uh, sorry, is well above $369,000. That is about a 3% annual on a annual basis high. So it's still very pretty expensive. And sellers are actually getting more, uh, they're giving off incentives to kind of push sales through. So we could see a little bit more of that, but I don't know how much of this relief on the more on the rates will really push mm. buyers back into the market. Did you get any sense any of where you thought rents might head from here? I mean, as, as LA they are, where they might, the trajectory is headed? Well, rents are pretty flat right now on an annual basis. And there's been so much supply that has been added to the market that a lot of analysts on the street are expecting the market to really digest that before developers start building even more. If anything, there's a lot more focus on the single family homes than there is in the multifamily homes. And so I think that's really kind of where the direction of where possibly the housing market may be, right? But even though they're ramping up production on the single family, it's not that high. It's it's in the single digits. That really does show that there is some caution on the builder side.